Hi guys, today I thought I'd do a really quick video um, just to share um, two kind of things in particular that I have found out about recently that now I absolutely love um, and I kind of wouldn't want to not have them. Um, so I will go ahead and start. The first one um, is a brush. It's this brush. It's by QVS. I know that you probably won't be able to see that. But it's this... Um, kind of dual fibre brush, um, it's I suppose similar to the um, MAC brush. This was I think $7.99 from Superdrug um, and I found out about this um, by watching a video from Laura Kate 09 I will put her details in the sidebar, um, she's got a really really good channel, she's got some um, great videos, she's such a really sweet girl. Um, she won my um, kind of original subscriber for the holiday competition that I had um, and since then we've kind of been um, kind of keeping in touch with each other just saying hello and kind of what's going on and I said to her that I'd get this brush um, and I have, I mean the day after I watched her video I really wanted to try this and oh I love it, I love it um, I mean it's just a brush, I never thought that you could kind of I don't know, kind of be really kind of passionate I suppose um, about a brush it, it it does the best job ever 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 um, I mean I've kind of got regular um, like a regular kind of foundation brush and that was fine I had kind of a half decent one that was fine um, but I thought I'd really like to try this and now my other foundation brushes they're kind of redundant um, I love this I don't uh, I mean sometimes I'd kind of maybe put foundation on with um, my hands but this is brilliant I mean I use um, a Bobbi Brown um, foundation so I'll put one pump on the back of my hand and then with the brush I'll kind of just dip in and then I'll start to stipple over one particular area and then once kind of the majority of the product is off then I'll actually go ahead and buff it into my skin and then I'll kind of do the, the second kind of the other half of my face and then my head and my neck um, this gives, it's like an airbrushed effect, there's, um, I mean I suppose it depends on the colour foundation that you wear, um, because the Bobbi Brown one matches my skin kind of completely, that it doesn't actually kind of leave um, any kind of demarcation, any telltale signs that you're wearing foundation, but this is brilliant, it, it, it kind of puts the product on um, just perfectly, um, and it's so quick and easy, um, I really, I love it. I've got the um, powder brush from e.l.f. and I was using that for a while as a foundation brush um, and it doesn't have kind of these white fibres. Um, I'll just try and get that actually. Just, I'll be back in one sec. Hi guys, sorry about that. So this is the e.l.f. powder brush and this is what I had been using before I bought this. I was kind of using just a regular foundation brush um, but then I did kind of try with the e.l.f. Um, powder brush and it's kind of really dense so I kind of found although it did kind of put the product on um, I mean maybe it was just me maybe I was kind of doing it wrong I don't know um, but I kind of found that a lot of the product would kind of still be left in the bristles so maybe that was just my kind of I don't know my application of it but with this I mean you can see it's kind of not completely white but it doesn't kind of get caked in foundation so yes love 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 this if you have um, a super drug near you um, I personally I would recommend this so thank you so much to Laura K09 um, I have the video that I saw her talk about this brush I have it in my favourites, so if you look on the sidebar you'll actually see um, her February favourite video. So thank you so much, um, it's kind of revolutionised the way that I, I put my foundation on. Um, so yeah, definitely check out her channel, um, I'll also put her Twitter link and her blog link um, on the side there as well. Um, as I say, she's such, kind of just a really lovely person, she's so sweet. Um, and she's really nice to talk to, really, really kind of we've, um, as I say, been kind of having 
chats and things and she's just really nice so definitely check her out so that was that brush then the second brush that I found out about only this week um, is this brush here and this is the Revlon contour shadow brush and my camera probably won't pick it up but anyway I found out about this brush by watching a video from giggly123 um, I will put her video it's also a favorite on the side so if you check that out as well um, she did a um, school makeup look um, tutorial and that's when I sort of saw her use this brush and the reason I kind of went and got it she said that she actually preferred this to her MAC 224 um, now I have a MAC 224 um, and so just kind of as a comparison I just kind of wanted to see what the difference was um, this is a beautifully soft brush it is it's really really lovely the the bristles I'm not sure how well it's kind of tapered at the top um, they are lovely and soft they're not as long the bristles aren't actually as long as the 224 um, but yeah I love this so if you don't have the money to um, invest in a MAC um, 224 or even a MAC 217 you could kind of easily use this brush um, as a cheaper substitute I, I personally think um, because the only two MAC brushes I've got is a 224 and a 217 uh, and I think this kind of comes um, in between the two so definitely kind of maybe try that out um, again I got this in Superdrug and it was reduced to I think it's five ninety nine. Um, so thank you to Giggly One Twenty Three. As I say, her link will be in the sidebar. And if you guys want to follow her on Twitter, I will also put her Twitter link on there as well. Um, just the last thing I was going to talk about. It's not something new. This is something I've had for a while. Um, the light probably kind of washes me out. So I'm not sure if you can tell that I look slightly browner. Um, even on my arm you probably won't really tell but I've been using this product it's by French Connection it's called Tan Your Hide Bronzing Gel now I got this from Boots or oh, a while kind of quite a long time ago um, I mean it could have been a couple of years ago I can't remember I have had it for a long time um, but I bought three bottles and I've got two that were never used um, so this I had to kind of prime it first obviously for the product to come out um, but I used this today just to kind of give myself a bit of colour um, I looked it up on Google and in the UK it says that you can still get this on eBay um, so I would definitely recommend if you are um, looking for kind of a quick fix solution to a fake tan this gives you instant colour um, I mean it's really more of a body makeup it's not a fake tan so whilst you've had a shower it doesn't actually leave any colour on your skin um, although I have ordered um, a product called uh, Sam Moritz it's I suppose a dupe for Saint Tropez uh, bronzing mousse so hopefully I'll get that in the next couple of days and when I do I can um, kind of show you guys the product and share my thoughts with you um, but yeah in the meantime if you sort of trying to give yourself as I say that extra bit of colour if you can get your hands on this um, it's really good I mean it kind of does give you instant colour it doesn't make you look orange um, and it doesn't smell awful either so that's uh, just what I wanted to share with you guys if you've got any questions on um, either of the brushes or on the bronzing gel then please do leave me a comment below um, or you can send me um, a message and then I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. I'll see you all soon. Bye!